Hey guys, uh, welcome back. If you're new here, I am Julia. I run a blog, juliamariebee.com, where I focus on fashion and style and inspiring and teaching you how to maximize your wardrobe and making smart strategic purchases, as well as shopping your closet. Um, if you are not new here and if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should follow me at julia.marie.b. Um, I have a love for sweatsuits. I would like to refer to myself as a sweatsuit connoisseur. You know, some people like luxury and designer handbags and shoes. I like a good sweatsuit. So I have pulled six of my current in season <laughs> because I have some spring and summers that are favorites as well, but I pulled some um, six in season, fall, winter sweatsuits that are my favorite. Some I did not purchase this season. Um, some I bought throughout the year. I think everything is available though. So I'll make sure to link everything below in the description box for you guys. And that's all pretty much. Let's get into these sweatsuits. So for our First sweatsuit, I have a makeshift, sweats, makeshift sweatsuit. Um, it's not technically a set. I got the joggers. These are the 90s style oversized joggers from Misguided. And then I put it, I bought this, the pants in the spring. And then the top I actually got just a couple months ago from Zara. It was only $25. It is a sweatshirt. Um, with my sweats, I like to sass it up a bit. Like I don't like a, a basic sweatsuit. I want it to have something that is current, something that makes it a little more feminine. Um, what else do I like? Just like f fun details. There's not any like crazy details here, but with the crop turtleneck, it is, it makes it a little more like put together and chic than a traditional like oversized sweatsuit. So this is my version of an oversized sweatsuit and we just paired it with sneakers. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna be showing exactly what shoes I'm wearing with every look <laughs> because, um, because this is my third like try on video and I'm t today that I've recorded today and I'm just, I'm tired, I'm tired. But anyways, I really, really, really love this. I might actually wear this um, when I leave the house in a few minutes after I finish this video. You guys know what I'm wearing. It's a classic Adidas. I think it's the SST or STT tracksuit. Um, I bought this last year. I had to have an Adidas tracksuit. It was just on my list. Um, I did not have it in my budget to spend $150 on a tracksuit the year or two previous. So I was like, oh, we're getting this year. Um, I went with pink because pink's my favorite color. And to be quite honest, I saw someone on Instagram Joy Chavez, and she had on a short set while she was doing a dance video, and I was like, uh, I needed it in pink, but with pants, because I don't wear shorts. Um, so that's what led me to the pink Adidas track set. This color is no longer available, but you can get it in the black, which I would probably recommend over the pink <laughs> at this time of my life. But that is all, this is a classic. I'm gonna keep this forever. Um, I had some Adidas pieces and track sets from high school. And when everything came back in style, I was extremely upset that I had not kept at least one or two of them because um, I had an entire Adidas collection. So no matter what, if I have to put these in one of those airtight bags under the bed, I'm keeping this Adidas set for fucking ever, okay? That's all, end of this one. This is not necessarily a sweatsuit. It is a knit sweatsuit. Um, so we have this super crop knit top with the hoodie. We have... Um, <laughs> It's a dolman sleeve. I almost called it a bat, <laughs> bat wing sleeve. Um, super high waist. Um, these are actually joggers, but your girl's a little juicy in the thigh, so they don't um, hang like they might on someone else. And I did try a size up, and they still look like this, but we're just a bit too big in the waist. Um, this set is from Zara. I did get it this season. It was one of my very first purchases this season, and it is still available last time I checked. So I'll definitely link it below for you guys. I love this. I feel like it's a little cold now for it. Um, if you put like a tank or something underneath to cover your stomach and then wore it with some booties or something and a, ni a nice coat, it would be cute. But I like, I'm obsessed with this. I will have this forever. And then if you don't want to wear it outside anymore, it's always great loungewear which maybe some people wear it as lounge where I will not. I wear it have another makeshift um, sweatsuit set. This is actually a velvet 
jogger set. Um, technically, the bottoms are velvet, but the top is velour. And you can see it doesn't make, look that different in real life, but on camera, you can see the difference um, in color. It looks like it's a different color, but it's really, it's a different texture. Um, this color matches the string. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a full-fledged set. <laughs> I've been wanting a velvet set, like jogger set for, since I saw the all black Adidas velour set or velvet set that like, all the Kardashians had, I was obsessed by the time I saw it, they were sold out. Um, so I've been wanting one since then and I just haven't found the one. I've had these velvet joggers, I think I got them two years old ago from The Gap. And then this year, um, Target has these velour raglan, like sweatshirt type tops. So I was like, why well, I can just, it was, it's I think $25. So I was like, why well, I can just make my own sweatsuit, just, you know. So that's what I did. Um, the top, I actually went down a size. I'll do it like a side view. I went down a size for this one because I wanted it to hit, I wanted the bottom to hit like right at the top of the pant. And my true to size, which is a medium, um, it is, it was just really big. And then like this part hung pretty low. I'm short, I'm 5'4 for reference. Um, so yeah, long story short, I sized down. I think this is really cute with a sneaker. Uh, I've been trying clothes on all day long, so you're going to get these <laughs> loafers. Um, but I think it'd be really cute with a uh, uh, sneaker and then like an overcoat. And then also last thing, the last set I tried on the Zara knit set, everything was purchased true to size for that one. If you are taller, sorry, back to the Zara set, I would recommend going up a size in the top to give you a little bit more length. Technically not a sweatsuit, but it is a knit set. This has been super popular in my Instagram stories. I just purchased this, I think Black Friday week, the week of Black Friday. It is a knit set from Express. Um, the pant is a jogger pant. The fit is very tricky. So the top, I act so sizing. I went up a size in the top and then I went down a size, which I never go down a size in the pants. Um, the top actually is very, if you get your true to size, it's very fitted and cropped. So it's going to fit like this and then maybe some stomach will show. Um, I just really wanted a slouchy, cozy fit um, just to run errands or to wear around the house. Um, I have styled this with a fur coat over it and then these uh, loafers. And it was super, super cute and chic in my humble opinion. Um, this may just be an around the house look for you, um, but it is one of my favorites this season for sure. Sweat suit. Um, it would not be a sweatsuit haul without a champion set for me because if you don't know, champion sweats are my absolute favorite sweats. They're just really, really great, great quality. They're thick, they're sturdy. Um, I just, I love them. They fit well. I am wearing a slim jogger with a crop top, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like you might, you can get them maybe on the Champion website and then at Nordstrom and um, Urban Outfitters uh, for this exact one. I have my true to size in both the bottom and in the top. I am 5'4 for reference. And that is that on that. Last sweatsuit. Ah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, make sure to subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And that is all. See you guys next time. Bye.